I'm just uh, making a quick little video here because uh, I had a trailer brought back to me today that uh, it appears that the batteries are completely drained. I've not actually checked the voltage on them yet, but I'm getting I'm preparing to get everything turned on right now. The um, midnight charge controller is not turning on, nor are the uh, the sunny islands. And uh, when the batteries get that low, uh, I'm always concerned about cells that may have uh, been overwatered. So I'm gonna shine down in here and see that these cells are pretty bone dry. There's no water in there. I'm gonna go ahead and water them. But the important thing, the reason why I'm creating this video today is uh, when you're watering a battery that you know is significantly discharged, you just want to go about a quarter inch over the plates. Um, because the electrolyte fluid is going to swell almost two inches in the act of charging that battery cell up. So we want to submerge the plates, but we don't want to add so much water that, it, that it's going to overflow. So I literally just, just barely go where it's just, you can just barely see the water over the plate. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. All right, so the good news is it only took about a half a gallon of water to fill up all of these. So they were not that low. Uh, but as I, let's see if I can get it to zoom in, just focus on that. You can see that I definitely did not submerge the, uh, the metal bars. I left those where they are at. And then, um, but I, I got the water just above the plates. Uh, and the, the the goal here is that you want you don't want the plates to heat up when I go to charge these up. Um, all right. Well, anyway, uh, just to give you an example, the water level there, depending on how low these cells are, which I believe they're pretty darn stinking low, um, it will probably submerge those uh, lead bars on the uh, on the left and the right of the inside of the battery there. Uh, it'll it'll definitely swell at least an inch, inch and a half, and sometimes even two inches. Okay. Well, anyway, that's uh, today's little video. Oh, and I would also say it's good to have the trailer leveled. Um, you know, like when you unhitch it from the trailer, you know, it's this can be a little high right there, and it actually works better to bring that down so that the trout the the batteries are as level as possible, especially when. We're having to deal with a battery that's as low as this because uh, you don't want to have one side of the, you know, if, if the trailer's tipped just enough, you can have one side of the plates exposed and the other one submerged, but then um, you end up having to add too much water uh, to submerge the other side of the plates. Anyway, there you go. Now I'm going to move on to the second battery and just check those water levels before I start charging it. But again, please, everybody, do not just assume that you should add water to your battery if it's not behaving well and it's undercharged. Because you will, uh, when you overflow acid, it gets all over in here, it gets down there, it gets on the ground, starts eating your metal case away, starts eating your metal inner cell connectors away. <clears throat> and uh, it's, uh, well, and then it also can disrupt the chemistry of the battery because you want to have so much acid for water. And if you're spilling half the you know, quite a bit of the acid out, you're basically diluting your battery's uh, chemistry. So, all right, everyone. And I do not rec rec recommend people do this in flip-flops. <laughs> so I hope people find the humor in that. Okay, bye.